Hi everybody, welcome to this video today where we're going to have a quick look at streaming tips for Facebook Live. Now you might know that Facebook Live has opened up live streaming to hundreds of millions of people to access live streaming on their phone. However, with vMix you can create professional looking live streams to send out to your friends and customers and people that want to you know, watch your stream. So today we're going to go over some tips about that. Firstly, you want to put your be best face forward. Now, um, we don't particularly have great faces for broadcast, but however, when you want to actually make sure that your face and your production looks good, you need a great camera. So you might start out using an integrated webcam on your laptop, and those work great. However, the next step up would be to use a HD webcam from Logitech or Microsoft that allows you to plug in directly via USB uh, and have a 720 or 1080 video feed into your production. So those are great. Now, a lot of people have old camcorders lying around, so things like this, like Canon, Sony, JVC, and you can use these to connect up to your production to have really good HD um, video. So I always recommend for people to have a look in their cupboard, ask their friends and family, see if they've got any old camcorders, uh, and, and use those in their production. Or you can get them off eBay for secondhand or refurbished, or even new ones are quite affordable as well. Now the issue with these type of cameras is, is they don't have USB out. You need to get a HDMI feed out of the camera into your computer somehow. So thankfully there's a whole bunch of different options available. Uh, we've got a whole stack of them from AJA, Innogeny, um, Magewell. There's a whole bunch that you can choose um, in order to get a HDMI camera into your computer via USB. So they connect via HDMI in and then go out via USB, and then your computer can then see it like it does with the webcam. It'll just appear in the vMix input list. So those are great options. They range in price, a couple of hundred dollars, so you can use those to bring in a HD camcorder or something into your computer really affordably. Now, there's obviously professional level cameras with SDI or HDMI, then, and you can use PCI Express capture cards, like these ones here, that you can plug directly into your motherboard and taking the cameras that way. So that's kind of the professional level option uh, if you were looking into that. So you could bring in a couple of these USB ones into your production, no problem. Next we're going to look at making your show look pro. So what you want to do is you want to brand your content with logos and artwork um, so that it looks like a professional production. Nowadays people expect Facebook Live productions to look just as good as full TV productions with huge budgets. So you need to make sure that you're providing great, a great looking show for everybody. So you can easily create custom titles. Just put them up like this. You can do this through vMix. You can create custom titles, add your logos, add whatever content you need to for your titling. Um, you know, you can easily add videos, you know, picture in picture like I have here, you know, PowerPoint, websites, all that kind of stuff can put, be put directly into your live production uh, with vMix. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit more creative, you could use your own green screen like we have here. So I've got a green screen backdrop here and that I'm using um, vMix to create layers and add a backdrop in. Or you could look at using a virtual set for your production as well. So these are all great options to make your show start to look pro. Next, we're going to create great content. Now, you want you don't want just a normal show going out. You don't want to bore people. You want to create great content. So it starts with a great intro video. You can build your own. Um, you can buy templates. There's plenty of sites that allow you to create templates like we have with our live show. Or you could pay somebody off Fiverr to build one for $5. It may look like somebody else's, but it will have your logo. You could also use a static image and then play some music behind it if you wanted to create an intro like that. Same goes with your outro video. You want to show your social media, let everybody know how to get in contact with you, and maybe create a call to action for everybody watching your videos. Okay. You can also interview people. It's a great way to bring extra content into your show. With vMix 19, you're able to bring in callers just by adding inputs and they can come into your show just using their web browser. You want to also be able to interact with the viewers. So you can use things like vMix Social, which will allow you to bring in live Facebook Live comments to your Facebook Live stream. So I can ask a question to my viewers and they can, when they're, live, when they're watching the live stream, they can reply instantly and I can bring that content directly onto my um, page. So somebody here has commented on one of my things. I can say, dancing bananas are the best. Yes, they certainly are. So thanks for that comment. And you can also have giveaways on your show. So these are just some ideas on, on ways to 
add great content. Also, you want to make sure that you plan it well. You want to have a script and you want to make sure that everything is um, as it should be. Now, all this stuff is really easy to do with vMix. You can stream directly to Facebook Live in the streaming settings. Just a matter of going in there, logging in, creating the stream. It's really straightforward. Only takes a couple of clicks. And you can create a professional level production uh, with, with vMix, no problem, with your titling, your videos, all the inputs you need to, to add. Um, you can also record your entire show. So say you're streaming to Facebook at 720, you can record in full HD or in 4K in vMix and then edit it later on for archiving or upload it to YouTube or any other place you want to. Now finally, you can try vMix for 60 days for free. We have no watermarking, no audio watermarking or anything like that. You could do two months worth of productions, however you like, um, try it out, fully test it out. Um, and at the end of that period, if you like it, you can buy it. So if you have any questions, please head over to vmix.com. I'll leave a comment below about anything and um, we'll get back to you. Thanks. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.